The direct cost of injuries include medical cost, wage indemnity, and claims administration fees. We are able to see the obvious costs of workplace injuries. The true cost of injuries can be up to five times the cost of workers' compensation. Many of our costs we don't see, including management and labor relations, litigation, wage continuance, replacement labor or overtime, damaged equipment, damage to customer relations and public image, management and supervision time, process interruptions and yield losses, missed shipments, morale, turnover, and human tragedy. What is behavior-based safety? It focuses on safe behaviors and best practices that can prevent injuries, and it'll also focus on at-risk behaviors that can lead to injuries. It is a proactive approach to safety and health management. The following are behavior safety principles. An injury is usually not caused by the first occurrence of the unsafe act. Behavior is a primary cause of accidents, 93 to 96% of the time. Consequences motivate behavior. What gets measured gets done. And feedback is essential to improvement. At what state is our current safety culture? Is it dependent, independent, or interdependent? Without safety standards, you are left to rely on natural instincts, with which we will see a high rate of injury. And as we move through the stages, we will see rates of injury reduced. When we are dependent on safety standards, we have management commitment, we have a standard compliance set as a condition of employment, we see fear of discipline as motivation. We have rules and procedures that are established. Supervisory control with emphasis and goals. We value all people and a standard training program. Independence is achieved with personal knowledge, commitment and standards, internalization, personal value and care for self, practice and habits, and individual recognition of compliance. And finally, as we become interdependent, we see employees helping others to conform, becoming each other's keeper. Networking contributions, care for others, and organizational pride.